Every gardener knows this problem. You mow the lawn, and suddenly you're drowning in piles of grass clippings. They look messy, they smell, and let's be honest, most of us don't really know what to do with them. Some bag them up for the trash, others shove them in a corner hoping they'll disappear, and a few toss them into the compost heap just to get rid of them. But here's the frustrating part. Weeks later, you come back expecting soil, and instead you find a slimy, smelly mat that looks more like waste than anything useful. Sound familiar? It's a headache we've all had in the garden. Now imagine turning that same pile of clippings into something so valuable that gardeners call it black gold. I'm talking about humus, the rich, dark, crumbly material that transforms lifeless dirt into thriving, fertile soil. It's the secret ingredient that makes your plants stronger, your harvests bigger, and your garden healthier. And the good news is, you can make it right at home if you understand a few simple truths. Truth number one, humus is not just compost. Let's start with a big misconception. Many gardeners think compost and humus are the same thing. They're not. Compost is simply material that is broken down enough to look earthy, but you can still recognize what it used to be, maybe bits of straw or fibers of grass. Humus, though, is different. It's the finish line of decomposition. At this stage, all the original material has disappeared. What you're left with is chemically stable, resistant to further decay, and able to lock nutrients into the soil for years. In other words, compost is halfway dinner, but humus is the full feast your garden is waiting for. And here's where I want you to smile, because once you realize the difference, you also realize you can stop wasting clippings and start building the kind of soil that keeps on giving, season after season. Truth number two, grass alone can become a slimy mess. Now let's talk about what really happens when you pile up fresh clippings. They're packed with nitrogen, which is great fuel for microbes. The problem is too much nitrogen without balance creates a disaster. Instead of becoming fluffy soil food, the clippings mat together, trap moisture, and turn into a smelly sludge. We've all lifted a handful of that mess and thought, well, that didn't work. And honestly, it's discouraging. The solution is balance. Grass clippings need a partner. Carbon-rich materials like dried leaves, straw, or even shredded cardboard. When you give microbes this mix, the pile breathes, it heats evenly, and it breaks down in a way that actually moves toward humus instead of rot. Think of it like baking bread. Too much flour without water makes a brick. Too much water without flour makes soup. But with the right balance, you get something beautiful. The same goes for your compost pile. Balance turns frustration into success and waste into treasure. Truth number three, heat tells you what's happening. One of the most overlooked signals in a pile of clippings is temperature. Within just a day or two, a fresh pile can climb to over 130 degrees Fahrenheit. That sudden heat is not random. It's the sign that billions of bacteria are awake and busy. At this stage, your clippings are still visibly green and soft, but deep inside, they're cooking. And believe it or not, this is a good thing. Heat shows that decomposition is happening. If your pile never warms up, it's usually too dry, too small, or lacking the balance we talked about earlier. Gardeners sometimes worry when they see steam rising, but really, that's nature's engine at work. Think of it as the heart beating inside your compost pile. Without that pulse of heat, the transformation to humus will crawl at a snail's pace. With it, the journey is well underway. Truth number four, worms and fungi do the finishing work. Once the fever of the pile passes, a whole new cast of characters takes the stage. As the heat drops, fungi begin weaving their fine white threads through the material. They're nature's recyclers, breaking down tougher fibers like cellulose, and soon after, earthworms arrive. They move in quietly from the cooler edges, pulling fragments down into the soil. What they eat, they turn into castings, tiny nuggets of concentrated nutrition that plants absolutely love. This is when your pile starts smelling less like lawn waste and more like fresh earth after a spring rain. It's important to understand that bacteria may start the race, but they don't finish it. Fungi and worms carry the baton across the line. Without them, you'd never reach the true richness of humus. With them, your clippings transform into something gardeners have cherished for centuries. Soil that almost feels alive in your hands. Truth number five, the nose knows. 
You don't need fancy equipment to track your pile's progress. Your nose is one of the best tools you have. In the first few days, clippings often smell sweet. Almost like freshly brewed tea. That's the nitrogen breaking down quickly. As time passes, that sweetness fades and an earthy scent takes over. This is your sign that the pile is moving towards soil, that microbes and fungi are creating the chemistry of humus. If instead, you catch a sour, rotten odor, it means the pile has gone anaerobic. It's suffocating without enough air. So don't underestimate your sense of smell. When it smells like soil, you're on the right track. When it smells like garbage, it's time to fluff, mix, or balance it out again. In gardening, sometimes the simplest senses give us the clearest answers. Truth number six, humus needs time to mature. By week four, your pile may already look dark, crumbly, and alive with worms. Many gardeners stop right there and call it finished. But here's the truth. At this point, you don't yet have stable humus. You have what soil scientists call proto-humus. If you spread it immediately, it will still finish breaking down in your beds. That can be fine, but it may tie up some nitrogen along the way. The real magic happens when you give it extra time. A few more weeks resting in the soil or buried where worms can finish their work. Think of it like cheese or wine. It's edible early on, but a little patience deepens the flavor and makes it last. The same is true for humus. A brief curing period allows it to become chemically stable, resistant to decay, and ready to serve your garden for seasons to come. Truth number seven, humus is the garden's silent hero. When humus is finally ready, it works quietly beneath the surface, but its effects are anything but small. In heavy clay soil, it opens up the structure, letting roots breathe and excess water drain away. In sandy soil, it acts like a sponge, holding onto moisture so plants don't dry out between waterings. Even more important, humus holds nutrients in place, releasing them slowly over time. That means your plants don't get a quick sugar rush of fertility that disappears in a week. They get a steady, reliable supply of food. And all the while, humus builds a thriving underground community. Bacteria, fungi, worms, and microorganisms that keep the soil alive. It doesn't shout for attention, but once you've added humus to your garden, you'll see the results everywhere. Stronger plants, tastier harvests, and a garden that feels more balanced and resilient season after season. So let's step back and think about this journey. Grass clippings, the very thing so many of us treat as waste, can, with the right care, become the richest gift your soil will ever receive. Yes, it takes patience. Yes, it takes a little balance and attention. But the reward is soil that gives back to you year after year. The next time you finish mowing and see a pile of clippings, don't sigh and wonder how to get rid of it. Smile instead. Because in those green blades lies the promise of humus, the black gold that will keep your garden thriving. And here's the beautiful part. You don't have to fight nature to get there. You just have to work with it, letting microbes, fungi, and worms do what they've been doing for millions of years. When you do, waste disappears, soil comes alive, and your garden becomes more than a patch of plants. It becomes a living system that rewards your patience with abundance. So don't throw away your clippings, turn them into treasure. Your soil, your plants, and your future harvests will thank you for it.